top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 27th, 2018. So yesterday, uh, Cyber Monday, according to the news, we just had a blowout Cyber Monday. Um, online sales up about 20% over last year. I guess they're looking for a number of somewhere around 7.8 or 7.9 billion dollars in sales. I guess um, um, a low unemployment rate and having everyone um, working um, certainly has improved um, Christmas sales. But even with that in mind, we're not showing uh, really good signs this morning of follow through um, with our big move up yesterday. Currently, as I'm recording this video, we are uh, looking at about an 80 point gap down in the Dow. And that's largely due to um, president, the president's comments uh, suggesting that he may slap a tariff on um, iPhones coming in from China. So as we continue to crank um, up the rhetoric here on the trade war dispute, um, between the US and China, that is certainly affecting the market. Now, uh, the good news is that we did have such a nice rally. We have a little room for a pullback. And a pullback after a big run up is not too out of the ordinary. But uh, doggone it, we don't have a whole lot of room here. And if the, the bears happen to take over, and if we were to break down below um, yesterday's opening price, if we were to break down below that, that would indicate a, um, an, a daily reversal and we could actually see a retest of last week's lows. So certainly not what we want to see happen, but um, we do have to consider that if the trade war rhetoric continues to spin on here. So let's watch that closely. Now, what happened yesterday was really very simple. We ended up rallying right to price resistance of those candles right there and stopped dead in our tracks. Now this morning, gapping back down, um, pulling this back and a test down in here or even down in here would not be out of the question at this point. So we need to see those bulls come in, step in and defend and hold the low of that candle right there and then drive us back up. That's what we need to see. And if we if we were to draw a uh, trend line and down at this current move in the market, that would constitute possibly a break of that downtrend. It may be a slight improvement. Now, will we just go to the moon after that? Probably not, if we do recover anyway. Um, I would suggest this resistance level right here in the Dow would be a pretty strong resistance level that we'll have to deal with in the market. However, if we do fail, if we do move down, then what we're going to have to look for is we're going to have to look for support levels to come in off the low of this candle, maybe in this area, or scary enough to think, clear down in, into this area where we might catch that bounce. So hopefully those bears don't gain control of the market here. But as I'm speaking, we're now down 100 points in the Dow futures. It's not looking real promising, at least so far this morning. Now, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys would do me a favor, make sure and click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly appreciate it. And once again, you guys, thank you very much for taking the time to leave those comments. It is making a difference. So thank you very much. And let's take a look at the queues. Now, the reason I'm jumping to the, to the queues is I think the queues is the most vulnerable. With Apple um, kind of catching this news from the president, the queues already had made that lower low in the market where the diamonds had kind of held on, uh, the SPY had kind of held on. The queues made that new lower low. So 
we have a lower high and we have a lower low and this rally up here with apple kind of taking it on the chin today um, certainly comes at a very bad time and a push down below yesterday's open or yesterday's low would be uh, not so good and one of those things that could make um, those bears kind of take over and carry us back down to retest the low now a, a low retest is not um, abnormal you know something like that would not be abnormal anyway but we would really like to see this hold right in here a little bit of a higher low and move us on higher but kind of keep in mind we have to be flexible and, and remember you know one of the things i've been repeating a lot lately is to look at the chart for what it is not for what we want it to be we all want the market to go up hey let's just admit it that's what we want to see happen but what we want is not important what we see in the chart and what the chart is telling us is important and so if we focus on the price action of the chart focus on those support and resistance levels we'll do a lot better job with our trading let's take a quick look at the spy spy similar situation gapping down sharply this morning um, that could easily uh, be taken over here by the bears and we could push back down here retesting these lows hope that doesn't occur let's hope we can catch a little support right in here and bounce off of there and you'd think those really strong sales numbers um, over the holiday here would would give the market a lift but um, in the face of the trade war um, threats I, I don't know I don't know if we can um, overcome some of that fear let's take a look at IWM IWM probably as far as patterns go one of the better patterns um, right now of the indexes and that is this double or double bottom or W type bottom that we want to see in the market but now this morning we've we run back up here we've we here was our uptrend that we had um, a week ago and now we we broke down below that we've rallied back to it as resistance and we could be seeing that failure here this morning as you can see IWM is gapping down this morning and IWM already looks to be giving up its low of yesterday so if we end up getting this um, reversal pattern down in here don't be surprised to see a retest back down here um, on those lows and if a failure occurs um, watch out there could be some really fast selling if a failure breaks through there so watch that close let's take a look at the vix now the vix did a good job of pulling back yesterday holding this wedge pattern that we've talked about here just lately holding that wedge pattern we're still winding up in here but now this morning's gap down is likely going to kick this back up so could this just be you know the back and forth in here as we tighten up this wedge yeah it certainly could be and that wedge has the possibility it's it's one of those almost like equal possibility that the price could um, break the break through the high and we have fear rolling into the market and uh, more selling coming in or we finally end up breaking down so we've, we've got to stay pretty flexible here in the market and keep our eyes wide open and very focused to price action because truly anything is possible right now let's take a look at t21 22 now this T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, honestly gives me a little bit of hope that we could see a little bit more rally and a little bit more of clear heads coming in to um, uh, kind of push the markets up off of those good sales numbers. But the reason I say that is we're still below 50% here. So we've got lots of room for an upside move. But if fear starts to creep in, if those bears really start to take over, um, don't be all that surprised.
to see that push back down. It's not what we want to see, I know. And it's one of those things that I hate about those big spike moves. Those big gap up spike moves that we've seen here in the market. Those one day big spike ups um, create or bring in some additional selling. So hopefully that doesn't occur today. Let's just keep a close eye on it and remain very flexible and keep your eyes focused on price action without bias. All right, let's take a look here at the economic calendar. Quite a little bit going on today in the economic calendar. We've got at nine o'clock um, Eastern time, we've got the um, CoreLogic number coming out, um, Case Shiller number. So you'll want to watch that. That does have the tendency of moving the market around. You can see we have consumer confidence at 10. That does also have the potential of moving the market around, particularly if we start to see that. Uh, consumer confidence starting to fade a little bit with uh, the market correction that could certainly affect things keep in mind we have several bond auctions today and we have a bunch of fed speakers today that are some kind of conference that they're at so several fed speakers today to, to make note of on the earnings calendar we had about 33 companies reporting earnings this morning several of those companies have already reported earnings um, and that's moving us around just a little bit this morning. So kind of stay focused on what's going on here. Just really stay focused on the price action. Please keep in mind that as vacations finish, as, uh, as uh, the holiday uh, folks, uh, or holiday shopping events um, have kind of come to, to an end, at least for the moment, then uh, we should see some return of volume. Volume has been pretty light and pretty weak, but don't expect that volume to return all at once. It could be a little bit slow and choppy, but wait for, wait for that volume to return and wait for those good quality signals. Don't just wildly speculate and don't bet on your bias because we could flip either direction very, very quickly today. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. Now, there's a couple of charts I want to bring your attention to this morning that you might want to have on your list first. Merck. Merck has held up extremely well during this entire sell-off. Look at this beautiful trend. It's just staying nice and strong. And Merck is looking pretty good here um, at the moment in its price action. So maybe keep an eye on Merck for a possible um, entry into a trade. I've mentioned FireEye several times. Now FireEye had this ugly pullback. Just really nasty pullback here but you can see we've rallied right back up we're looking pretty decent here i wouldn't suggest that this is ready to just buy right now in fact i would suggest what i what i would want to see is a little rest a little pullback a little consolidation something like that to build a little bit more of a, a bullish case here before this moves up and we have to keep in mind that any of these um companies, China related type companies could run into um, issues with this China uh, trade war. So kind of keep that in mind. We'll have to watch those close. Um, McDonald's, McDonald's looking pretty good here. Um, it is a long ways away from um, its uh, trend. The current trend has broken. So we need to see that rally up pretty strongly. But McDonald's is looking pretty good here and maybe one of those areas where we can pick up um, some potential um, well, just a potential trade. If you take a look at AES, AES also, very nice looking chart holding on to that trend. Now this pullback was a little bit stronger than we'd wanted to see. We would want to see, but you know, that's kind of been the case for the overall market. So um, breaking back above that downtrend and holding out in here could certainly give us an opportunity uh, for AES and that utility sector, which is once again, just a little bit of a conservative place to be when the market is a little bit nervous. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all great profits today. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll talk to you all bright and early 
Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone. Oh, and hey, by the way, anybody listening to this uh, video today that's not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options, this evening I am going to be doing a free webinar a free webinar it will be in our room four. there will be no password so feel free to come on over and um, and join in on that it will be on developing a trading edge and maintaining that trading edge so a topic that seems to uh, well it's just one of those topics that everyone should be interested in uh, so hopefully we'll see you over there um, this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern in room four. Thanks, everyone. Take care. And we'll talk to you all very soon.